You want to open your gift now? Best me. <laughs> I am one of the worst gift givers because I want to hurry up and give the gift because I know that it's a good gift. So I want you to hurry up and get it. I'm terrible. And then on the other side, I'm also not really a good gift receiver because most things that I want, I don't want a lot of stuff. I'm not a, I, I, I hate to sound cliche, but I really don't ask for much. So when I want something, I just get it. Like I don't, I don't wait to get stuff, but I kind of messed up because I specifically told my family, I told my guys what I wanted for Christmas and then I turned around and bought it, <laughs> which is like so unfair, but let me explain. Don't, don't judge. This is why I bought it. I have been wanting, so, okay, so I love Glossier. I went to the Glossier store in New York, actually, right before the pandemic in the winter of 2019, fell in love. I felt like if I was a brand, it would be Glossier. I like their branding. I like their packaging. I like their messaging. I like what they offer. I like their, you know, what they do for diversity and inclusion. I like how they give away grants to small business. I just love everything about Glossier, okay? I have even looked up their job openings to see, like, can I be the chef? Can I be the lunch lady at Glossier? Can I just... I like dust in the store. I don't even live in New York, but I'll go dust in the store. They have a store in Miami. It's like, I just need to be working there. But anyways, I love Glossier. So I told my boys, I want the Glossier U perfume for Christmas, right? Now, this, this past year, I definitely got more into perfumes. When it comes to me and perfumes, we don't really get along. I have a very sensitive nose. Like I'm very, very sensitive to smells. And a lot of perfumes are just way too grown for me. And I'll admit that a lot of the perfumes that I'm in love with now are probably like teeny bopper perfumes like ariana grande cloud cloud me i'm in the air i'm floating amongst the stars like that's all me right there because it's not too strong but it smells really good so i don't have a robust mature knowledgeable <laughs> perfume collection but i really like i started getting more into perfumes and i've been just like trying different ones trying to find like my lane with fragrances and what works for me and I saw a lot of good feedback about you from Glossier, which is their signature perfume. And I really want to try it. So I told that to my family. And I'm not, they listen, okay? And I know that, but still I was impulsive. So what happened was Glossier had a Black Friday sale. And I bought it during the Black Friday sale. And then I felt terrible. Like, well, what if they did get it from me? But I got to wait a month to find out. But it's on sale so I need to get it now and actually not only was it on sale but they had they were doing these they actually still doing them I think they were doing these holiday bundles where I got the U fragrance paired with their hand cream for like even cheaper plus the discount it was just too good to pass up and I'm impulsive so I did it and then I was like well if they did they get it then I'll have two which still kind of like takes away from the gift giving factor um so yeah I got it and <laughs> I also got in my purchase the Glossier Signature Pink Hoodie, which obviously if you know anything about me, I love pink, so I had to have that. And um, yeah, so I, I felt a little bad, but later on, so let's fast forward. So if you watch a couple of my videos, I'm actually like batch recording content right now. So there's another video I'm gonna have this sweater on and I'm talking about being in slumps and being sad and having anxiety and depression. And my boyfriend was like, one day now mind you i'm 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 not only guilty of this he's guilty of it too but one day maybe like a week and a half before christmas he was like oh you know you're having a bad day i wanted to like make your day and i ordered you something but it didn't come on time it got delayed so i'm like what was it he's like i'm not gonna tell you because that's gonna ruin it that's gonna ruin the the gift but he was gonna tell me anyways because he was gonna give it to me early but it was a christmas gift so it ended up being the glossy AU, <laughs> which i did already tell him that i had already ordered it but just in that moment he was going to give it to me that day to like make me feel better so as it turns out i ended up with two and what was nice i was explaining to him again i love glossy's packaging i was like it's probably gonna come in like a different packaging and his came with the they have this cute little mirror it says like you look good on it his came with that so i was like oh i'll get the mirror it's it's a whole different experience it's not the same thing it's not it's not a duplicate it's different so it ended up coming like the next day the mirror was so cute. The packaging was different. I'm going to unbox everything for you guys after I stop telling this long story and just show you the difference. Um, so I was happy. I was like, okay, I have two. And then I smelled it and I like the smell. It definitely wouldn't be like my top daily grab. It would be for like specific situations. Like I don't think I would ever wear it at night. It would be like, it's like an invigorating clean smell. Like you just took a shower to start your day. So I think I would wear it during, you know, from the mornings. Um, so then I was like, okay. Maybe this is overkill because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be spraying it down. I'm not gonna be chicka 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 chicka. I'm not gonna be doing that every day with it. It's gonna be something that I pull for maybe a few times a week. So maybe I don't need to. 
So I actually wrote their customer service and I said, hey, I got a duplicate as a gift and I wanted to send mine back. Um, how do I get the process started? Because you can't just like their return process, you have to email them. You can't just go on and return it. And they actually ended up telling me that I could keep the extra one that I had and gave me a credit for it. So now I have two of something that I wanted and a credit to a brand that I love. So all is well that ends well. We're both very impulsive gift givers in <laughs> buyers so the gift was you know I didn't get it on Christmas Christmas was yesterday I got it, I got it before Christmas and I'm fine with that but I did leave everything packaged up because I wanted to do a little unboxing here on YouTube since I'm trying to take YouTube a little more serious I wanted to show you what I got and also the differences between the packages so let's get into it um even if he did ends up not trying to surprise me with it the box would have gave it away because i would have seen it come and i want to see the glossier tape and i would have been so excited like hey is that my you can i open it but yeah so this first one is the one that i ordered again i just love everything about their branding and packaging it's so simple and clean the bold sans serif font Ugh, i just love everything about it so let's start with the you and the hand cream so one thing that i do love about glossier is that when you purchase their products they come in these pouches and these are perfect i love road trips and short trips and just keeping things organized and hella bags i love stationery so i always have a bunch of pens so these bags i can use them for like so many different things so when he told me that he bought one too i was like oh i'm gonna have two of the pink bubble bags so i was so happy about that so i like i said i got the you fragrance and then i also got the hand cream it was like a duo so this is how mine was packaged the one that i purchased i love this packaging they have like this reusable rubber band situation and this is actually i don't know if you can tell but it's like a foam block they just have the best packaging look at it it's like a foam block that's molded for the fragrance it's just so cute really nice display um packaging gorgeous this like ombre pink and clear bottle with the red matte top <clears throat> i just love it it's so me like i said i i, I kind of go more towards like teeny bopper <laughs> i know that sounds ridiculous i'm 33 years old by the way teeny bopper designs i love pink i'm never gonna give it up so this was like literally up my alley um as you can see the bottle has like that little thumbprint area i think that's so cute let me turn this around so like when you're spraying your thumb is like right in that little housing right there that's super cute so again i am not a fragrance blogger <laughs> i just started getting into fragrances this past year um prior to that prior to me exploring more fragrances my number one fragrance was am i saying fragrance weird <clears throat> fragrance what the heck my number one fragrance was dolce and Gabbana Poor Femme in the velvety maroon box. That was my girl. And then like back in the day, of course, I used to wear like Vera Wang Princess. Again, like I said, I've always been with the teeny bopper since. Um, I've done Flower Bomb, of course, but most recently it was always that Poor Femme. And Poor Femme is very like grown. It's like the, the simplest grownest fragrance that I could find that doesn't irritate me, but it's more of like a nighttime vibe. I didn't, I didn't really give me a daily vibe. Like so this past year, like I said, I've been trying things out and I feel like the you, let me just like put some in the atmosphere. Yeah, the you, they, they say with this fragrance that it smells different on everyone. Ooh, trying to get me in my eye and poison me. That it smells different on everyone, but that's every fragrance. They kind of turn that into a unique selling point, but every fragrance smells different on everyone, which is why a lot of the fragrances I fell in love with during my search, Burberry Her, I would love it in the bottle and then it would sit on me for like a couple hours and I would hate it. But this is very hard to explain. <laughs> it's very clean. It does kind of have like this strong tinge of something. To me, it just smells like a grown woman who just stepped out the shower. It's very hard for me to explain. Like it smells like her linens are clean. Her outfit is ironed for the day. She just took a nice long soothing shower and then spray this all over. That's the only way that I can explain it. I know that has nothing to do with actual smell or fragrance, but that's my explanation. So for me, I would wear it like in the morning when I'm getting my day started. Um, I think that it does have a pretty good longevity on me because I did like a wrist test and I was smelling, I had to go just take a shower to get it off of me. Like it was, it was lasting pretty long on me. 
I also am interested in seeing how it smells cocktailed with something else because it has just kind of like such a nice simple base. I'm very interested in layering it with some something else that I like, maybe something that has more of like a vanilla-y uh, gourmand type smell just to give it a little spizzazz. But again, I'll have to try that in the house when I could like take a shower and get it off of me because as far as I'm concerned, it was very strong on me. So I'm gonna put her right back in her little phone box, her little cute house is so freaking cute. And then I'm also gonna show you how it looks in the gift packaging that he got me. Um, but this is the 1.7 ounce and I think it retails for 60 bucks. It's very affordable. It's not gonna knock you over the head. It's not, you know, it's not Baccarat Rouge, <laughs> but it'll do. No, it doesn't smell anything like that. I'm just saying like price point wise. Um, $60, super cute packaging. So in that bundle, I haven't opened this yet. I also got the Glossier hand cream. And this is one of those things I like to just have hand cream. I'm, I'm a nail girl. I like to get my nails done. Your nails last longer when you're taking care of your cuticles. Um, I like to think I have pretty nice hands. So I like to keep them moisturized. It's winter time here in New England. My hands could get a little crusty dusty. So there's nothing wrong with having a hand cream in your bag. So this is cute how it's coming in like this wax paper deal. And you have to rip it open. I haven't opened it yet. Um, it says apply to clean dry hands, massaging into cuticles. Very simple. A little ASMR if you're into that. You like that? Are you into that? <laughs> so this is so cute. Wait, it's too, it's, I'm, I don't know how to, I don't know how to vlog guys. I don't know how to do the thing with the hand to make the, the product appear more visibly, but I think my ring light is too bright, but this is super cute. It's like debossed with the Glossier name. Um, how does this work? Oh, it's like a pop top. This is so cute. And then I guess you squeeze it out. I've never had this hand cream. All right, let me see how it smells. Oh, it's hard for me to smell it because I literally just sprayed all of that U fragrance, but I'm not sure if it smells the same. No. Mm. I don't know yet. I'm going to have to try it on its own. But it is nice and light. I do like that. It's not greasy. It smells... I don't know. I don't want to be biased because I literally just sprayed all that fragrance. And it's like I said, it sits. Um, so I can't really smell this. But I do know that this packaging is cute. And this is going to make for some cute content. And it matches everything else that I own because it's pink. So, five out of five stars. <laughs> all right. So let me put these back in. And then the last thing from my order would be the Glossier Signature Hoodie, which I love. I did get some like little samples, cloud paint and the um, Future Dew Oil Serum. And that's another thing. His order came with samples too. So, oh, I forgot I got this too. I got a sample. They were giving out a lot of samples for the holidays. I got the Body Hero Daily Oil Wash sample. I'm actually looking forward to trying that. So here's my hoodie. So excited. I love pink. I love hoodies. I love being comfortable. This pink is like a nice, it's not like super baby pink. It's like a nice, rosy, mauve, grown up pink. It's going to look pretty bright on camera, but this is nice and soft. Ooh. Ooh, get into it. <laughs> it's nice and soft. I, I think that it has, yep. This is like one of my favorite things when hoodies have these nice details with these end caps on the strings so that your strings are not like getting frayed. And then the strings are like the, they're not the flat, they're like the bubble threaded. I don't know how to explain it, but the details make it feel like even more quality. So yeah, this is going to be cute. I'm going to wear this down. Most hoodies that I fall in love with, I wear them until they're falling apart and begging for free begging for freedom okay so i'm gonna be wearing that you're gonna you're gonna see that in some videos if i'm making videos so that's how my package came now let me show you how the you fragrance came in the gift package that baby boo got for me let's see so again his also came with a cute little mirror so same deal we got the pink bubble pack and his sample was the Milk Jelly Cleanser, which I will try. And then the Glossier Holiday 2021 sticker. It says Glossier Winter 2021. That's cute. So for the gift version of you, packaging is a little different. So for this one, we have this like craft 
I gotta turn this light down. You can't see anything. But it's like this craft thick cardstock material. Again, we have the reusable rubber band, which is super cute. Take that off. And this is how it comes. I like both forms of packaging. Both are super cute and gonna be very hard for me to throw away. I'm that person that still has like their iPhone 3 box. I, it's hard for me to throw boxes away. Like you do not need the box that comes with your fragrance. It's not necessary, but guess who's keeping the boxes? This girl. So yeah, this packaging was super cute for the gift um, because it kind of creates this moment of if you don't know what you're getting, you don't really know what's in this box. I knew what I was getting and got it for myself and got it from him too, so. <laughs> Um, and then let me show you the little mirror that came with it. So it came in this Glossier dust bag. And then there was like a little product sticker on the back. Um, it's called the You Look Good Mirror. And it's just so cute. I don't I don't know how, I don't want to mess this up with the lighting, but I'm just going to keep it back here. You probably can't see. It's like the same color as my wall. I just love pink stuff, but let me see. There you go. See that? So that is the back. And then on the front, you can see my whole office. Look, look at the ring light. <laughs> Then on the front, it says, you look good. And it's just like a cute little compact mirror. I actually just got the um, Glamaholic jewelry case from Mia Ray. So I think this is going to be cute. I got a silver one. I think this is going to be cute right inside the mirror, right inside the jewelry case. And I'll do another video quickly unboxing that as well. But yeah, this was, again, I'm pretty, I'm very laid back, very simple. I just want to try a new fragrance. I know that I love Glossier and I heard a lot of good things about the fragrance. So I got it twice over. And now I have a little credit to go shop and get some more stuff. They still have some really good holiday bundles. So I think what I'm going to get with my credit is this um, bundle that has many versions of all their popular makeup items. So Boy Brow, their mascara, um, their bomb.com lip balm. It's a kit that has everything in it in many sizes. And I have this weird obsession with mini anything like travel size stuff. So that's definitely what I'm going to get. But that was just a quick little fun unboxing of my duplicate Christmas gift that came very early. <laughs> um, follow, what am, I, what am I trying to say? Not follow me. See, I'm not used to being on YouTube. I'm used to being on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel, She's Basically, and follow me on Instagram at She's Basically. And I'll have more little fun. Like I said, this channel is going to be entrepreneurship and lifestyle. Um, I'm a regular degla girl. I like regular degla daily stuff. So not only am I going to be talking about business, I'm going to be talking about fun, cute products that I buy, that I try, that I'm gifted. So if you're into that, follow, subscribe, hit the little bell button thing that everybody's always talking about on YouTube so that you can know when I have a new video, which will hopefully be often. Again, I'm on the road to try to get um, 800 additional subscribers so that I can monetize for 2022. So I hope you like it here. I think I'm, I think I'm okay, right? <laughs> I'll see y'all later.